I'm so excited for today's fashion video because we have transformative and or convertible fashion. It's one piece of item that turns into multiple ways to wear. Let's do it. Let's try some stuff on. First up we have by Free People. This is their Giselle convertible skirt. It retails for 128 US dollars. And we picked up size small, I believe. Yes, size small. So you can wear this more of like a midi, like a midi maxi skirt, depending how tall or short you are. Or you can also wear this as like a halter style dress, which looks so pretty on the model on their website. Let's put this on because this looks really cute. What do we think? It actually kind of has a lot of movement, a lot of flow. It has a lot of different tiers and the print is actually really cute. I think it's actually really pretty for spring and summer. Like you guys see, you can wear it as a skirt and then you can convert it into a dress. You can wear it strapless and then just take the ties and tie it into a bow at the front or in the back or take it and crisscross in the front to kind of create this extra halter top to feel even more secure. And if you're wondering about this right here, this cinched part, around the waist and then around the chest. It's actually quite comfortable. I feel really secure. I can kind of do a lot of stuff and it's not sliding, it's not slipping, it's not moving around. It feels very comfortable, it's very breathable. Only thing I will say, I wish it had pockets. That's the only thing that could possibly make this better. But I do like the movement, I like the flow, I like that it's convertible. There's so many endless possibilities of how you could do this for your own just look, but the only thing I will say, it looks a little bit better of how they did it just because maybe, well, my chest is a little bit bigger. So this part right here, it's not really going fully around <laughs> my chest, but it's very comfortable. I think it's quite flattering and it's, I like that it's pretty good length. It's just really fun, you know? It's a really fun skirt slash dress, depending what you're in the mood for. Let's move on to the pair of shoes. I'm really excited for this, but a little bit nervous just because it's a convertible shoe. <laughs> this is by the brand, I think how they pronounce it is Passion Footwear. This right here is their, it's called the sandal. I got the four inch stiletto. They have multiple colors. We chose latte leather. And upon opening this package or this box, it does not look like latte leather. Online, it really looks like a really, like a rich cognac latte color. And this is a very pink and it looks very pink in person. So what this does is you get a stiletto, a four inch stiletto, and then you convert the heel into a flat. So let's see how this works. Let's put these on. <laughs> well, you're probably wondering how much this cost. This cost $185. We picked up size seven, but they did say go down half a size to get your perfect size. I didn't. Hopefully they still fit. <laughs> Let's try them on. Let me show you how this shoe converts from a high heel to a flat and then back into a high heel. So this right here, this is what it looks like with a high heel. You flip it around towards the bottom. What you do is to take the heel off, you twist the heel, you snap it off, and then you take it out and that becomes the flat. And they do provide you with this like heel protection. So what you do is you take that little heel protector and you kind of basically pop it right in. And that's what the heel protector looks like. And that's literally your flat. You might think, wait, what? <laughs> that's a flat? Why is it still so arched? <laughs> that's it looks like a clown shoe. Yeah, Andre's like, babe, that doesn't look right. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't. But what happens is because this right here, this part, the arch is so flexible and just so comfortable, they're saying over time, it's supposed to really kind of conform to your foot and really become really comfortable and the perfect size. So that's why they recommend to go down half a size. And I will, yes, I will say yes, go down half a size, especially if you're gonna be wearing these in, in flats a lot because the shoe really just stretches like this. You can see how much bigger or longer the shoe looks versus like that, like this or like that. And you can see when I'm walking, when I create these into flats, you can see how much extra room there really is. So there is a little bit of uncomfortability, I would say. So then to take it back into a heel, you pop this off. So it has this little ridge right here, or this little groove. What you do is you take it underneath, just like so, kind of put it in between that little metal rod. You put it back in place, kind of pop it back in, make sure it's all good. And then the heel, you screw it back on. There you go. Okay. so. I have my pluses and minuses about this shoe. Size wise, like I said, yes, I would recommend going down half a size just like they do because once you do go into flats, 
it does feel a little bit more roomy, but when you are in the heel version, it's actually quite comfortable. The next part is the color. Yes, it's a little, a little bit off, but it's actually really flattering on my skin tone. I think it, think it is. The next part is when you're walking and standing, this heel right here, it doesn't really give you support. Like this shoe has no support whatsoever once you're in heels because the shoe is so bendy. So even when you're standing, you're kind of like, it's kind of like rocking a little bit back and forth. And then when you're moving a little bit, the heel kind of just wants to like slip and slide a little bit. So that's the really biggest negative for me. I do want to say, I do love the crisscross on the foot. I think it's super flattering. It's really comfortable. It's stretchy, so it's really nice and comfortable around the ankle. But personally for me, I think they don't look as good when they're flats just because they really stretch out. And I personally, I'm just not gonna keep going for these pair of shoes. I, I feel like I have much better shoes in my closet that I appreciate. The thing is you have to make sure you have a bag on you. You have to make sure you have pockets because I feel like I would lose these heels so fast forget about where I left and probably leave them some car in my friend's house. I don't know, or even like the heel heel tabs. So that's the one thing I feel like I would easily like lose this. This next one is called the convertible shirt dress because it's a dress, but you can call, also convert it into a dress shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. This is by the brand Vita or Veta, size small, and this retails for 128 US dollars. Let's put this on because this looks really nice, really interesting, and it has pockets. I'm excited for the pockets. Let's put this on. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest here. Not a fan <laughs> at all. First of all, I think it's a little too boxy for a dress. It looks like a lap coat. And the one thing they didn't show online, even when you look in pictures, I believe they definitely photoshopped it, is the lining. It's this kind of like peach beige color underneath, which I appreciate for the lining, but it does not look good in person. And that's why it looks like some kind of weird lap coat on top. It has like no movement. I do appreciate the pockets but just the quality, the material, everything is just so lackluster. I'm just wanting so much more for the price. And it does, it does feel like a nice crisp white shirt, but it just doesn't look good in person. And I just, I don't like the bottom portion of the dress. The top I think is actually kind of cute on its own. I like that there's this little extra hem right towards the waist. It is definitely a little more cropped. So you do have to wear some kind of like high rise leggings like really nice high rise, maybe with some kind of jeans or like a skirt. I think that's really cute on its own, like as a shirt, but the dress portion of this, I was really excited for the dress because I love a really simple a shirt dress and this just really felt short for me. And you do have buttons to basically convert it. That's how it converts into a dress or a shirt. So it takes quite a while to take it off or put it back on. And I did wear these little like biker shorts underneath just to show you guys quickly what it looks like. I don't know, I'm just, yes, it's convertible dress, but it doesn't look good. And it's just, it's not, it's not as functional as I would want it to be, I guess. All right, let's move on to the next item. All right, all right. I'm actually really excited for this pair of pants. This is by Outdoor Voices, and these, these are their zip-off pants. <laughs> Anybody else grew up with zip-off pants? They were like cargo, really massive side pockets. They turned into capris, no? Oh man, I, I love those pants. So these retail for 118 US dollars. We have the color Bone, size small. And these not only zip up in one spot, it's in two spots. You get a pair of shorts, shorter shorts. You get a pair of capris, or you get a full length pant. Let's put these on, I'm excited. Okay, okay, Outdoor Voices, I see you. They're actually really cool. <laughs> They're very long for my height, but honestly, you could just take out that first layer or just kind of roll them up to make them a little bit shorter or cinch them up, whatever you want to do. Or let's say you're walking, you're taking a hike, you're feeling a little hot. You zip them right off into, carp into capris. <laughs> Another two miles goes by and you're like, wow, I'm really feeling the heat. You just take them down into shorts. <laughs> I honestly think this is so cool. Every length I think is so different looking. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm just like imagining myself going out in public. I'm like, well, you know, I'm feeling hot. Let me take off my pants. <laughs> You're probably wondering, what do you do with all the scraps so you don't lose them? They made a little 
thing to hold them all together. So there's a reason why there's only one pocket, if you, if you noticed. It was on the left side of the leg. And what you do is you take that pocket and you take it inside itself, just like so. All of it goes in there because on the inside, you have this little loop right here. And then you take everything else, you kind of roll it in, shove it in there. Then you take this, do the same thing, just like that. Just the one thing is, it doesn't come with a hook, but you can do it like this and you can walk with it when you're hiking. And it's not too heavy. It's a little bulky and uncomfortable, but that way you don't lose your pants, <laughs> the rest of your pants. One other thing is you do have this belt right here that adjusts to your waist. So you can make it a little more loose. You can make it tight. And it's actually a really cute belt. Has really nice deep set pockets. You have a zipper pocket if you have cash, keys, whatever else to put in here so you don't lose it. I believe you have one in the back as well, just like that to put more stuff to keep it a little bit more secure. But I think these are great for legit different exercises outside, hiking, anything that you know it might be really cold, but then once you, you your body heats up, you wanna you know really breathe. And the shorts are really comfortable. They're quite stretchy. They have a lot of room. The capris definitely had quite a bit of room as you guys saw. And then the actual full length pants, very long, comfortable. I honestly can't say anything negative except like, yes, they're a little bit too long for my body size and they are expensive, but you are getting three in one. <laughs> but I'm honestly really enjoying these and I'm definitely keeping this pair because Andre and I, we go hiking a lot with Emirate around here and I think these are gonna come really handy when it gets cooler or just when it gets hot and I just wanna wear a pair of shorts. They're awesome, they're functional, they're comfortable, they convert really easy. I like the zippers, I'm down for it. <laughs> Last but not least, we have this jacket that turns into a vest. This is by the brand A-Stars and small, size small, and this retails for 154 US dollars. So let's put this on and see what it looks like. See the functionality, the convertibility. <laughs> let's see if it's any good, because this is a very expensive jacket. Alrighty then. This is definitely both mine and Andre's favorite. I feel like this is the most practical item. You get hot, you wanna air out, you know, your armpits. I don't know, it's just a really cool jacket. And plus the way it sits on the body, it's really, really nice. I like that it has kind of like a soft, silky feel. It's very, very soft to the touch and it kind of has a nice drapey look. It's actually really nice. The only negative thing I'll say about it is you can't take off your sleeves while you have the jacket on unless you're super, super flexible. You guys see me, I'm struggling, I can't take it off. So you have to physically take the jacket off and then unzip it, which I'm totally okay with. But yeah, I think it's actually really nice. The sleeves, they look really, what's the word? They look very inconspicuous. Like I would never have guessed that this was going to turn into a vest if I didn't know it was gonna turn into a vest just because it kind of looks like it's all part of the design. And it's just a really nice jacket. Yes, it's very expensive, $154. It's a very lightweight jacket, but I feel like I would get a lot of use out of it. It does fit really true to size. It's a really nice fit. It's flowy, it feels really nice. I like the button, the, the snap buttons are really comfortable. Very easy to open, very easy to put on, but yeah has pockets. I like that length is really nice. You can even wear this with a pair of leggings and it's gonna cover your butt. So I think overall it's a really nice jacket. I wish it was a little bit cheaper just by looking at some of the stitching. It's a little bit off here and there. Let me put the sleeves back on. See how nice and comfortable that is. Just the one thing you just gotta find the starting point which is right here towards the bottom. So that makes it somewhat easier for you. I was trying to see if it itches with underneath my arms. I feel like you can kind of feel it right here because it does have a little bit of a weight, just a tad right here on like the like a little bit past your shoulders. But otherwise, if you're just kind of walking, you can't really feel it. But I do think it's a little bit too expensive for what it is just because it is so lightweight, but it does feel really nice. And I think it's really flattering and it's a beautiful color, really beautiful, like this nice olivey army green color. It's a really nice jacket and Andre approves. All right, I'm gonna leave it here, you guys. Thank you for watching, spending time with me and I'll see the next one very soon. Bye.